1-800-TCM-1002. Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're following up one of the greatest of all epics, Ben-Hur, with one of the greatest of all movie thrillers and another one of the five nominees for Oscar's Best Film Editing Award for the year 1959. And that's Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, like Ben-Hur, also from MGM. Now, the man specifically nominated for that editing prize, George Tomasini, worked with Hitchcock on many of his great suspense classics, including Rear Window and To Catch a Thief, also Vertigo, Psycho, The Birds. But North by Northwest is amazingly the only movie for which he was nominated for an Oscar. And as it's been pointed out embarrassingly many times, Alfred Hitchcock himself never won a competitive Academy Award. It's true. He was nominated in that category of Best Director five times, but never won. Now, he personally did receive one prize from the Academy. That's the Irving G. Thalberg Award in 1968 for the consistently high quality of his work as a producer. But that award comes in the form of a bust of Irving Thalberg, so even with that honorary award, Hitchcock still never received an actual Oscar statuette. Also a big surprise to many is the fact that the two male stars of this movie, North by Northwest, Cary Grant and James Mason, never won competitive Oscars either. Cary was nominated twice for Penny Serenade in 1941, also for None But the Lonely Heart in 1944. But the only time he took home an actual Oscar statuette was in 1970, when he received an honorary Oscar for his overall career. James Mason was nominated three times, but he left totally Oscarless. The film's leading lady, Eve Marie Saint, fared much better. She won an Oscar for her very first performance on film. That was for 1954's On the Waterfront. But despite those Oscar oversights we mentioned, this next movie proves that nobody could hold a candle to Hitchcock or Grant or Mason or film editor Th George Tomasini when they were at their very best. In the movie, if you haven't seen it, Kerry plays a New York advertising executive who's mistaken for a government agent, an agent that some international spies, including James Mason, want to eliminate. It's a predicament that sends Kerry running for his life across the country, joined at various points by E. Marie Saint, a blonde beauty who may or may not be part of a plan to rub out Kerry. So he nominated for three Academy Awards for its screenplay, for its art direction, and for its film editing. 1959, North by Northwest.